police. Now to questionable emails sent by state employees. Some call the emails inappropriate and a waste of taxpayer money. The Department of Transportation says they're being unfairly targeted. It seems to be ODOT versus the website watchdog.org. As News Channel 4's Adam Snyder found out, Watchdog says they weren't looking for the emails. They simply requested the information and got way more than they bargained for. When the group Watchdog.org did a story on compressed natural gas vehicles, they set their sights on Oklahoma. Did some stories in Colorado about it and decided to do open records requests for emails in Oklahoma. Uh, they gave me about 10,000 pages of emails. Thousands more than Kane imagined, but sprinkled among them, he found a troubling trend. And as I, I was going through them, I started noticing emails that um, were seemed inappropriate. Emails which included long-winded jokes referencing killing Muslims, disparaging the president, and this picture which popped up several times, all while workers were on state time. So, you know, we discussed it with, the, with editors and we felt it was relevant to show people what, what employees are doing with their tax money and their resources and their time. Now ODOT's biting back at Watchdog. They released a statement to KFOR today calling on the credibility of the site, stating it was an isolated personal matter. And while a few inappropriate emails were received, only two were sent out by ODOT employees, but did say that those two were an inappropriate use of state time and resources. I mean, the fact that they confirmed that it violated the policy I felt was relevant. I didn't put in a request that said, give me inappropriate emails. I put in a request saying, give me emails about compressed natural gas vehicles, and this is what they gave me. Kane thinks the questionable emails were included because ODOT sent him all emails containing the word truck instead of the more specific compressed natural gas trucks. Two American prisoners in North Korea are back on U.S. soil, landing late Saturday night. 